tonight to start the prayer. Thank you, God, for this gathering together of believers here tonight. Please be with me and um, everybody that comes after as they deliver your word. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 All right, open your Bible to Proverbs 14, verse 12. All verse 14, verse 12. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. If one time isn't enough for you, you have two chapters of Proverbs 16, verse 25. There is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Sound familiar? Yeah, that's good. The title of my sermon tonight is God's Reality versus Man's Dream World. That's good. And Pastor Reddick touched on that yesterday morning. The word out there, that's not reality. This is reality. Right. That's good. And yeah. People have their own ideas uh, about what the world is like and what Christianity is like. But if they just picked up a Bible, they'd see that things are a lot different than that. That's right. Yeah. Uh, for instance, the world says, love everybody. The Bible says, Second Chronicles 19.2, and Jehu, the son of Hanani the seer, went out to meet him and said to King Jehoshaphat, Shouldest thou help the ungodly and love them that hate the Lord? Therefore is wrath upon thee from before the Lord. Yep. So no, you shouldn't love those that hate the Lord. Right. Yeah, right. The sin will incur some wrath from God. What's an example of somebody that hates God? Let's look at Romans chapter 1. Amen. Amen. Romans chapter 1, verse 21. Because that when they knew God, they glorified Him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools, and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like corruptible man, and to birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lusts of their own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves who changed the truth of God into a lie, and worshiped and served the creature more than the Creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. For this cause God gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned of their lust one toward another, men with, wit, men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meat. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetous, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whispers, backbiters, haters of God, keep that in mind, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of all things, evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them to do them. Yep. That's one reason you should be watching all these Hollywood movies or even Disney movies, especially Disney movies, because they're full of fags. Yep. Don't take pleasure in a reprobate. It's good. It's good. Uh, turn to the book of Psalms. Look at Psalm 97. Psalm chapter 97, verse 10. Ye that love the Lord hate evil. He preserveth the souls of the saints. He delivereth them out of the hand of the wicked. So if you love the Lord, hate evil. Good. Let's look at Psalm 139. Psalm 139, verse 21. Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee, and am not I grieved with those that rise up against thee? I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them mine enemies. Look at Psalm 55, 15. Psalm 55, 15. Let death seize upon them, and let them go down quick into hell. David's praying for somebody to go to hell. Why would he do that? For wickedness is in their dwellings and among them. That's good. That's good. Sure. Um, Ecclesiastes chapter 3 starts off To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. And down in verse 8 it says, A time to love and a time to hate. A 
time of war and a time of peace. So it's not just all one-sided. We hate them because we love God. It's right. Like we hate We're Barack not. Obama because we love the Word of God right. and right. partially yeah. dead babies. Yep, that's right. That's right. So you can't just go around indiscriminately loving everybody any more than you should indiscriminately hate everybody. That's right. There's right. a time for one and a time for the other. That's good. Right. That's good. Next up. The world says uh, honor and obey whoever's in authority, submit to the government, something like that. Come on. And yes, you should obey the law of the land unless yep. it goes against God. That's right. right. Uh, Romans 13.1, let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. And what's higher than God? Nothing. That's good. For there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. And some people take the end of this verse and they say that every government is ordained of God. Really? Hitler was ordained of God? Come on. Baby Come on. killing Barack Obama is ordained by God? Come on. Come on. Those aren't powers. There's no power but of God. That's right. right. That's your ultimate authority. That's good. I have a quote here from Barack Obama. I don't know how recent this is or what he was referring to, but he said, I'd rather go by the golden rule than some obscure passage in Romans. Come on. It wouldn't right. be obscure if you read it. That's yeah. good. Yeah. Um, you'll find the golden rule in Matthew 7, 12, where Jesus says, Therefore all things whatsoever you would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them, for this is the law and the prophets. So I thought the golden rule was treat others the way you want to be treated. But apparently the golden rule is use tax money to kill babies. Come on, come yeah. on. When did they change that? Come on, it's good. It's good. It's good. The world says the Pope is a holy man. Come on. <laughs> the Bible says a lot of things to the contrary. That. That's, That's right. right. <laughs> That's right. One example, um, the Pope calls himself, or lets people call him, Holy Father. Come on. Um, Jesus says, Matthew 23, 9, and call no man your father upon Amen. the earth, for one is your father which is in heaven. That's right. That's good. And, uh, and there's also like infant baptism, work salvation, purgatory. You have to confess your sins to a priest in a box. The Come priest on. can forgive your sins. They worship Mary. They make idols. Yep. And if you want to know more about that, just listen to uh, Catholicism in the Bible by Pastor Anderson or Why I'm Not a Catholic Anymore by Justin Robinson. Amen. I'll tell you all about it. I'll just read Galatians 1.8. But though we, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. Yes. As we said before, so say now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you than that ye have received, let him be accursed. Right. And the Pope does preach another gospel, the yes, right, salvation, right. Yep. seven sacraments and all that. Amen. Right. Not a holy man, let him be accursed. Amen. Amen. It's good. All right. The world says, Jesus turned water into alcoholic wine. Come on, come on. Get him. The Bible says, Isaiah 65, 8, Thus saith the Lord, as the new wine is found in the cluster. Amen. That's right. That's right. That's right. Is there alcohol right. inside a cluster of grapes? No. Do you get drunk eating grapes? <laughs> in the Bible, wine refers to either alcoholic wine or unfermented grape juice, or isn't it even like a jam and jelly things do? Pretty much any grape product? All right. Uh, Proverbs 23, 31. Look not thou upon the wine when it is red, when it giveth its color in the cup, when it moveth itself aright. Right. How is wine going to move it itself aright? Bubbling fermentation. Right, it's good. So when it's like that, don't even look at it. Amen, it's good. Revelation 1 5. And from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood and hath made us kings and priests unto God and his Father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. So every believer is a king and a priest. Right. Proverbs 31.4 says, It is not for kings, O Lemuel, it is not for kings to drink wine, nor for princes strong drink, lest they drink and forget the law and pervert the judgment of any of the afflicted. Give strong drink unto him that's ready to perish, and wine unto those that be of heavy hearts. Excuse me. <laughs> John 10, 28. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Amen. Amen. And I shall pluck them out of my hand. So if you're a believer, you're never going to perish. Amen. Strong right. drink isn't for you. So Don't even look at it. In modern terms, Jesus turned the water into grape juice. That's right. Amen. The world time. says, the only meaning of adultery is cheating on your spouse. Come on. Jesus says, Matthew 5, 28. But I say unto you that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her hath committed adultery with her already in his heart. That's right. Mark 10, 11. And he saith unto them, Whosoever shall put away his wife and marry another committeth adultery against her. That's right. And if a woman shall put away her husband and be married to another, she committeth adultery. Good. So there you go. That's good. That's right. 